China baffles the world with revolutionary plasmic electric motor. Are you ready to hear about revolutionary technology that could change our thoughts about electric vehicles? Well, buckle up, because today we're going to talk about China's latest innovation that's leaving the world baffled, the plasma electric motor. Electric vehicles are becoming more popular as we strive to reduce our carbon footprint. Still, one of the industry's main challenges is the limited range of travel on a single charge. However, a team of scientists in China may have just found a solution to this problem by creating the plasma electric motor. This groundbreaking technology can potentially revolutionize the electric vehicle industry and change how we travel. In this video, we'll explore how the plasma electric motor works and why it has the world in awe. The plasma electric motor is a cutting-edge technology that uses plasma to produce an electromagnetic field that turns the motor shaft. The plasma produced by ionizing gases like nitrogen or argon in the plasma electric motor's chamber generates electricity rather than the rare earth metals and magnets used by more traditional electric motors. A magnetic field generated from this plasma spins the rotor, powering the vehicle. The plasma electric motor's great power density is a major benefit. Plasma electric motor can generate the same amount of force from a much smaller device with a power density 10 times higher than regular electric motors. As a result, electric cars can achieve greater efficiency and range because of their reduced size and weight. Because of the smaller motor's reduced material needs, the production of electric cars may have less of an economic and environmental effect. The production cost of the plasma electric motor is much lower than that of standard electric motors. The gases utilized in the plasma electric motor are easily accessible and significantly more cost-effective than the rare earth metals used in traditional electric motors. Because of this, the plasma electric motor has the potential to reduce the price of electric cars, making them more affordable to a larger audience. The plasma electric motor's durability is a further benefit. Traditional electric motors can generate a lot of heat, which could hasten the internal parts deterioration. On the other hand, the plasma electric motor's reduced heat output implies that its parts will last longer. Because of this, the plasma electric motor is expected to last longer than traditional electric motors, thereby minimizing the adverse effects of electric cars on the environment. Compared to the 60-80% to 80 efficiency of standard electric motors, the plasma electric motor, developed by scientists at China's Institute of Applied Plasma Physics in Hefei, can reach up to 96%. This equates to massive savings on energy costs and decreased carbon output. While the research of the plasma electric motor is still in its infancy, a prototype has been constructed by Chinese scientists that are capable of 60 km per hour, which means 37 miles per hour and 6.2 kilowatts of power. They are now working on expanding the technology's use to bigger vehicles by enhancing the architecture. The plasma electric motor may also find use in fields outside of automotive service. Compressors and pumps are only two examples of industrial machinery that might benefit from their usage to increase efficiency and decrease power consumption. There is an activity in developing plasma-based electric motors outside of China. The United States and Japan also have researchers looking at comparable technology. However, the Chinese researchers insist that their solution is superior since it requires fewer materials and is cheaper. The Chinese government has mandated that by 2035, half of all newly sold cars must be electric. The advancement of the plasma electric motor might aid China in this endeavor by making electric automobiles more accessible to the general public in terms of price and convenience. China's effort for renewable energy and technological advancement includes the creation of the plasma electric motor. In recent years, the Chinese government has poured resources into alternative energy, electric cars, and other relevant technologies. Regarding renewable energy, China is making strides, and the plasma electric motor is just one example. The plasma electric motor has a lot of potential but has certain drawbacks. For example, electromagnetic interference may make the motor's plasma hard to regulate and disrupt nearby electronics. The Chinese researchers are aware of these shortcomings and strive to fix them in subsequent design iterations. One of the creative applications of plasma technology is the plasma electric motor. Ionizing a gas's molecules creates plasma, a highly energetic state of matter. Welding, cutting, and surface treatment are just a few of plasma technology's many uses. Its potential use in fusion energy is also being investigated since it has the potential to provide an infinite supply of eco-friendly power. The plasma electric motor isn't the only technology that has the potential to increase electric car range and efficiency. Conventional lithium-ion batteries have limits that are being worked around by developing other technologies like solid-state batteries and wireless charging. 
the absence of a comprehensive charging infrastructure and the greater initial cost of electric vehicles compared to conventional gasoline-powered cars are two of the biggest barriers to the general adoption of the plasma electric motor. But as technology advances and prices drop, the sales of electric cars will probably rise. In general, the advancement of the plasma electric motor is a major step forward in the movement to lessen the impact of human activity on the environment. The potential advantages of this technology are huge, and it will be intriguing to see how it evolves in the future, even though there are still obstacles to be addressed. As a result of its superior efficiency, longer lifetime, and cheaper production costs compared to traditional electric motors, the plasma electric motor is set to revolutionize the electric car market. The widespread effort to cut carbon emissions has increased interest in electric cars, and the plasma electric motor might be the breakthrough that makes them commonplace. In terms of transportation, the plasma electric motor might be revolutionary. It has the potential to completely change the electric car market because of its excellent power density, efficiency, and cheap manufacturing cost. Even though the technology is still in its early stages, it could be the key to making plane travel carbon-free. Plasma engines are different from traditional engines because they don't use chemical processes to move. Instead, they use electric and magnetic fields to ionize a gas, usually xenon, argon, or krypton, which makes plasma. The plasma is then made to move faster, which creates a force that moves the ship forward. Plasma engines are better for long-term space travel because they can go much faster than chemical missiles. Plasma engines are different from ion rocket engines, which thrust by pulling an ion current from their plasma source. Ion rockets speed up the ions by putting them on grids or anodes. Plasma engines, on the other hand, use a high current electric spark between two electrodes to speed up the ions by using the current and potentials made inside the engine. This means the exit speed is slower than with ion engines, but the thrust and efficiency are still high. One of the main reasons why plasma engines are better than other ways to move a ship is that they work so well. Plasma engines use less fuel than other rockets, making them cheaper and better for the Earth. They also last much longer, with some engines being able to work for years at a time. Also, the speed and direction of the spaceship can be controlled very precisely because the plasma engines can be turned down. Another benefit of plasma engines is that they don't need grids or anodes and cathodes with high voltage to speed up charge particles in the plasma source. This lowers the chance of grid ion loss and makes the engine easier to build. Also, the plasma exhausts almost neutral, meaning there are about the same positive ions as electrons. As a result, a simple ion interaction in the exhaust can put out the exhaust plume instead of using an electron gun. Most of these engines make the source plasma differently, using an external receiver, radio frequency, or microwave energy. Plasma engines can also use a wide range of fuels. Many different types of fuels can be used. Plasma engines have come a long way, and versions are being tried in several space projects, such as the S-Dawn mission to study the asteroid belt, and the Bet Colombo trip to Mercury by the European Space Agency. But plasma engines are still in the early stages of development. Before they can be widely used for flying, more research should be done. Plasma engines have a lot of promise for space travel, but also have a few problems. One big problem is that they use a lot of energy. For example, the VAS VX200 engine needs 200 watts of electricity to make just 1.125 newtons of thrust, which means that such engines will need a lot of energy to be useful on space trips. With this revolutionary innovation on the horizon, it begs the question, what other extraordinary advancements could we unlock by harnessing the full potential of plasma engines? How might this affect how we transport ourselves in the future? Please share your opinions in the space provided below. If you enjoy our content, remember to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications to stay updated with our latest videos.